It's week 13, a large pizza's on the line, and it's the last week before the playoffs, so it's one for the books. Let's see what we can do to help you make the playoffs, or if you're already in, breeze through for a championship. Told you to start Dak Prescott for week 12, he ended with 21.7, and I told you to start Kyle Rudolph, who ended with 6.4, so halfway decent on those two picks. Told you to leave out Golden Tate, who ended with 7.7, .7, and Terrell Pryor, who ended with 13.1, and really surprised me. Breakout player of the week, Marcus Mariota, ended with a little over 21 and a half points on 226 yards and two touchdowns. The guy has been on absolute fire since week five, and unfortunately, for fantasy owners, he is on a bye in week 13. Let's take a look at our starts of the week for week 13. Who we're starting this week? Number one, Sammy Watkins of the Buffalo Bills. Last week was his first game since returning from injury, and he was able to turn a mere three catches into 80 yards while playing less than half the snaps. His production will only increase from here on out, and he's got a great matchup against the Raiders, who are allowing the fourth most yards to receivers in 2016. Our other start is Jordan Howard of the Chicago Bears. This week with him, it comes down to volume and the matchup. They're up against the Niners, whose defense is really bad, especially at stopping the run. Howard has cemented himself as the lead back in Chicago, picking up 18 carries in Week 12, so look for some big fantasy numbers in Week 13. Let's move on to who we're going to leave out this week. Who we're going to sit in week 13, number one, Allen Robinson. He's had his ups and downs in 2016, which is pretty normal for the wideout position, but always scary as a fantasy owner. This week he's up against the Denver Broncos defense, allowing the fewest yards and fantasy points per game to receivers. I do not expect much out of him, and we need to leave him on the bench. Our second sit of the week is Julian Edelman of the New England Patriots. He has by far the most targets since Tom Brady's return, but that doesn't mean much in standard leagues. If we were PPR, it might mean something, but here we're all about yards and touchdowns. They're up against the Rams, who are allowing the 13th fewest yards per game to receivers, and they've got some great pass rushers up front. Edelman's posted modest numbers at best all season long, and I do not see this week as being his breakout week. Let's move to our breakout player of the week for week 13. Who's gonna break out this week? I'm flipping the script. Last week he was a sit. This week he's the breakout. I'm going with Golden Tate of the Detroit Lions. He was able to rack up 77 yards on five catches against one of the best defenses in the league in the Minnesota Vikings. And this week they're up against the New Orleans Saints, who are known for their high-powered, high-scoring offense. And this game may very well turn into a shootout. And with Golden Tate sharing the majority of the targets this year, I think he's going to have a huge fantasy day. Good luck. I hope you make the playoffs. I'm getting a little nervous myself in a couple leagues, but I think I'm going to make it. We'll see you in week 14.